Hey everybody, my name is Karl van Graan, or as most people call me, Kali, and I am the founder of the NFT Yearbook Project. I'm doing this short video just to explain to you what the project's about and also to give you a little bit of information about who we are as a company and who is doing this project and maybe then also where we are planning on going with it. So firstly, let's talk about us. I am the co-owner of a company called Global Village Publishing and we publish these absolutely beautiful coffee table books all around the globe. We've done books in over 50 countries. Uh, I think we over 300 titles at the moment and one of our main titles is the Innovate series. Over the last couple of years, we've done about 50 of these in different ecosystems. And basically, it's a snapshot of innovators in these different innovation ecosystems. These ecosystems range anywhere from cities, regions to even industries. Basically, what it is, it's beautiful double page stories of innovators and what they're doing in these innovation ecosystems. We also have thought leader pieces. Oh, there we are. We also have thought leader pieces in the front of each of these books where thought leaders tells us what they see for the future of this innovation ecosystems. What we have done is we've turned the publishing industry on its head. So traditionally for this kind of publications, what would happen is you would create or you would purchase space. It would be a pay to play model. So in other words, uh, it costs anywhere from about $4,000 to $12,000 for a double page spread. The problem with that is that you always end up with the people that could pay and not the people that are really doing the awesome stuff. So we turned the thing upside down and we decided we are not going to charge people to be featured in the books. We just publish the book and we tell the great stories. We go into an ecosystem, we find cool stories, we write about them and we make our money from selling books. Because we make our money from selling books, we obviously need to make sure that these books are awesome. Anyway, so that's us. That's Global Village Publishing. We've been publishing these books for uh, between my partner and myself over three decades in various forms although the coffee table books is pretty much i think from for the last 20 years we've been doing these coffee table books i left the business for a while my partner carried on but you know once it's in your blood publishing you just can't get rid of it so here i am back again and we love books now the next phase what happened was we um started a publication last year called innovate blockchain and while doing that, we started researching blockchain, Web3, NFTs, metaverses, this whole thing. And we went down the rabbit hole. And like I said, we love publishing and we love books. I mean, there is nothing like holding a big, beautiful, valuable book in your hand. And you can feel the weight and you can see that somebody put a lot of work into making this thing absolutely amazing. But we also understand that... The world is moving forward and we needed to adapt, especially if we wanted to start publishing into the Web3 industry. So I started looking into how can we turn this around? How can we take what we do, our love for books and our love of publishing and take it into the Web3, into the blockchain, into the metaverse? How do we become the publisher of the metaverse? So that's where it all started. At first, I uh, did some research on NFTs and I realized, look, the market is still very, very fragmented. It is just the beginning. There is so much that still needs to happen. So I started working on creating an interactive 3D book NFT. And that's how we ended up with gaming and esports. If you look at this, you will see that it looks like a video, but it's not. This is the first interactive 3D book on OpenSea. OpenSea being one of the main NFT marketplaces. Well, still the main NFT marketplace. Let me show you what it, how it works. So I can grab this book. I can move it around. I can look at it from all angles. I can open the book. I can shift it. I can... Uh, <laughs> it's so much fun playing with it. Anyway, I can page through the book. We've got the whole book here. So technically you could read the book over here now this is just the first step this is the nft book and it's readable on OpenSea. so it's the first interactive 3d nft book what we're working on at the moment is 
turning this book into a usable book for the metaverse. Now, there's a couple of projects out there in the metaverse already. Some of these new, um, well, I can't remember the names of them, but there's with the blockchain book, we're working with a lot of metaverse projects or we've met a lot of metaverse projects. And a couple of them, I think three of them to be exact, have offered us libraries in their metaverse because everybody's like well nobody's making books this is great let's make a library let's make a bookstore let's put them in the metaverse so that's our next step what we're doing is we are busy developing the technology where when you own one of these nfts you will be able to take it with you into the metaverse you can go put the book in your library in the metaverse you can put it in your office you can stick it wherever you can take it with you you can read it in the metaverse well hell you can smack somebody with it in the metaverse if you please so that's where we're working towards with the book um it's not always easy because as you know the metaverse the whole industry is still very fragmented not all the metaverses run on the same back end uh, so we are working with a couple of people to create the perfect book for the metaverse and we are really out there to become the publishers of the metaverse hence we started a new company called metaverse publishing right now for the nft yearbook project after we created this first NFT, the Innovate Gaming and Esports NFT, how that worked was we just kind of gave the, the NFTs away. Everybody that purchased a book or that received a Innovate Gaming and Esports book from somebody else as a gift, they can send in a photo of themselves with the book and we sent them an NFT of the book as well. So we didn't do an NFT drop on gaming and esports. We haven't uh, sold them. We didn't try to sell them. We just gave them to people as an additional benefit to purchasing the real book. We also created a website where we have a WordPress plugin that if you own the NFT, the Innovate Gaming and Esports NFT, it gives you access to a hidden page where you can go and get some extra benefits like discounts on stuff and, and things like that. That's still at the last bit of, uh, we should be finishing that in the next couple of weeks and then that would be up and running. But after creating this beautiful 3D interactive NFT book, I thought, well, what's a nice project or a fun project to launch that with? And that's when we came up with the NFT yearbook. Well, at first it was the 2021 NFT yearbook because I was like, hey, it's a yearbook. We want to do the old one. But, you know, a lot of people, there's just so many awesome projects happening at the moment that um, a lot of people came back and said, hey, let's just go with the NFT yearbook volume one or uh, edition one. And that's what we ended up with. Now, let me explain to you what the NFT yearbook is and, and what the thinking behind it is. So basically what we want to do is we want to create a 420 page book that showcases NFT projects and people in the NFT world at the moment. How do we do that? We decided that we don't want to, with our traditional books, we select everybody that goes into the book. So in other words, we uh, get nominations, we get people tell us who should be in the book or who they think should be in the book. We do a little bit of research and if the, the company fits the book and if they are innovative, we put them in the book. So it is all our decision who goes in the book. But in keeping with this whole Web3 and decentralization, we thought, Mm, we should give the community a vote and we should also make it fair so that anybody can have the opportunity to say some words. I mean, the whole point of a yearbook is that it is something that is there for future generations to look at and go, oh, wow, look at that. Well, even for ourselves, 20, 10, 20 years from now, to look at it and go, hey, wow, look at that. Check what I thought those, uh, those were my NFTs, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, that's, that was the idea. Um, but at the same time, we also want to make sure that we cover some of the really cool projects. So we decided to split the book into two sections. It's a 420 page book. There's a 160 page editorial section. In this editorial section, 
we are going to cover 60 projects that we select and we are going to well between 60 and 80 projects because some of them we will just give single pages some of them will have double page spreads we are also going to select 20 thought leaders to be the editorial thought leaders on the NFT yearbook, the very first NFT yearbook ever, the collector's item. It's going to be the first NFT yearbook ever. It's going to be the first interactive 3D NFT yearbook ever. It's going to be the first book that is published by a community. So we're really looking forward to that. So we're going to select 20 thought leaders to be featured in this book. Then, the other 260 pages in the book is where it gets real fun. What we'll be doing there is we are going to do an NFT drop. So we are going to drop 9,669 NFTs of the NFT yearbook. And that's a fair drop. Everybody pays the same price, just like all of these... Uh, regenerative art or generative art projects out there. We're going to do a drop. And at the reveal, every single one of those NFTs will be awarded some space in the book. Now that space can range from the inside front cover, which is one of the coolest positions in the book. One of the NFT holders will be awarded the inside front cover. One of the NFT holders will be awarded the inside back cover. Uh, 20 of the NFT holders will be awarded a thought leader page where they can write their thought leader. And then there will be a bunch of other options like other double page spreads, other single page spreads. And then of course the typical yearbook style thing where we have a little profile picture and you can select your NFT that you own or, you know, put your own photo if you want. You will get a little profile picture and a little bit of space to write up something that you would want to be remembered forever. So, and then of course we also have the smaller option because 9,669 opinions in a book takes up a lot of space and we only have 420 pages. So a large part of them, about 8,000 will only get what we call well, let's call it a tweet. So it's basically a little um, PFP and 20 words just to that you want to memorialize. Any which way. So that is how we are going to put together the content of the NFT yearbook. Once the reveal is done, people will have the option to either try and trade their NFT, so to sell it if they received something that's valuable like the inside front cover or a double page spread or a full page spread and they don't have any content that they want to put there, they can put that out to the market and sell it to another project or to another company that would like to have that space. Or what they can do is they can submit their content. So we are going to have a trading and production period of about three months. During this period, as people submit their content for approval, we're going to go through it, we will approve it, and we will design it, put it in the book, and then we will remove the, the option from that NFT. So once you've submitted it, it's done. You can't submit more content. After three months, when we will have a cutoff date, and then after that, everybody needs to submit their content. We will put the book together. We will publish the book first as an interactive 3D NFT with the full 420 pages that people can page through and have a look and see what's going on, or uh, and do one last edit, I guess. You know, everybody can have a look at their content and see it in perspective with all the other uh, stories in the book and make any last minute changes. Once all the changes have been done, we will send the actual book to print because this is the cool part. We are not just doing the NFT drop. We're doing the NFT drop, which will give you an interactive 3D NFT book, but you will also have a physical book. So we are going to go and print those beautiful books and every NFT holder can claim their book to be mailed out to them as long as we could get mail there. There might be in certain instances that the holder will have to pay some of the 
shipping fees. I mean, if you're in Antarctica and we need to get a book there, it might cost a little bit more than anticipated or planned for. So we will just charge you the balance of the shipping fees. And that's it. That's the NFT yearbook project. Now, where are we going with this once the first book is published? Because that's what a lot of people are asking us. Hey, you're just going to publish this book and then what then? Well, the beauty is that once we started doing that, we really want to become, um, let's call it the Oscars of the NFT world. So in other words, the first people that bought these NFTs, the holders of the OG, the original NFT yearbook, we are going to put all of you in a community and we're going to start voting for amazing NFT projects. So we are going to start what we would like to call an award ceremony where we're going to go through all of the NFT projects that's available. We're going to put it out to the community to vote in different categories and we will publish more books about these categories and showcase these beautiful projects but we will also have an annual event where we will be handing out awards to these projects so where we will be celebrating and organizing and really really highlighting these projects that are doing great work and it's all community selected so if you are a holder of one of the nft yearbooks you get to vote on the projects that will uh, get these awards so in a nutshell, that's what we're planning with the NFT yearbook project. If you have any questions or you have any ideas or advice, please feel free to reach out. I would gladly jump on a call with you and let's see what we can do. Oh, and of course, if you know any really, really cool projects that should be featured in the editorial section, please also reach out and let us know. All right. Cheers.